What is up, guys? We're back with another Far Cry Primal trivia walkthrough on The, the school, school Zone. You got school, son. Now, real quick, if you're new to The School Zone, what is a trivia walkthrough? Well, it's basically like a Let's Play walkthrough that you've probably seen on other gaming channels, except with the added bonus that I give factoids about the gaming environment along the way. So you get to have your cake and eat it too. You get to watch your favorite video games in action, and you get to get smarter at the same time. However, a lot of my regular viewers know that about once a month I do what's called open mic on the Schooled Zone, where I open up the trivia and factoids to you guys. So for this particular episode, we're going to have another open mic on the Schooled Zone. So if you see any cool factoids at any point during this episode, then leave a comment down in the After School Club, which is what I like to call the comment section down below. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into the next mission here. Marwa udam waidam, si shau si nacham, si warjarwa. Ti. Udam shayar guama waiam. Tu sai, arshi tachis maha mal shata. Okay, well, she was pretty happy. All right, cool. Okay, well, let's uh, take a quick look around and uh, maybe check out our reward stash here. See what we can fill up on. Some of that. There we go. Okay, cool. I won't do this every time, but uh, you know, I'm still getting used to the game a little bit. Alright, maybe we should go into some skills and see what maybe we can upgrade melee combat. Oh man, I have a feeling I probably should have gone into my skills before I jumped out here. It's probably going to jump right into the next cutscene. Alright, well I'll let you guys pause this if you want to read it. Otherwise, I think I'm good to go. Yep, I knew it. When you want to put your Udam Shanti Hassa, Wamash Ha, why Karsh? My Winja Chimasta. My Marchasar, Winja Mana, who like what? He's an ugly one, huh? Marita! Oh, I shall walk one. Palhuda, Palhu has mas nu takar masi hayauda. Checkpoint. Oh man, barbarians at the gate. Alright, let me just take a pause here and see what's up. Okay, well it doesn't look like we have the option of uh, doing anything else but defending the village, so probably 
just have to do that before we could move on to spending some skill points and uh, going to some of these other locations. You know, I, I did a little bit of grinding in between episodes, but I got so much more to learn about this game. It's it's pretty crazy. So, uh, yeah. All right. Well, if that's what we got to do, then that's what we got to do. So we shall defend the village. How about a little ranged attack? Oh, headshot will always work. Let's break out our club, our new club. Got our pet wolf by our side. Oh, damn. Club's pretty good. Two hits on that one. Oh, you're not going to hide from me. I'll knock you off the cliff. I have time to search these guys. Cavern gate under attack. Oh man, I'm gonna search them anyway. Okay. All right, now we can run over there and take care of business. All right, let's go ham on these guys. Oh, he threw a spear at us. Damn, he's going to get it for that. Get him, Wolfie. That's right. What's this guy holding? Oh, some of that poison stuff. Let me heal up a little bit. God, this is just total chaos. I don't know why I was doing that. I, sh I think I wanted to just switch to the spear. It's just chaos, though. You gotta admit, it's pretty cool the way they... Uh, Got so many AIs all running simultaneously. Oh my God. There you go. Wolfie. There we go. There's my spear. All right. Have a moment to think clearly. Are there more? Oh man, more of these guys. I want some of those poison bombs. Is there another guy over there? Regroup with Sela. Oh man, we repelled the attack. Let's heal our buddy. Knee, knee. Woo, breather. <laughs> Alright, I don't know if this will be boring for you guys, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, raid all these guys. I like keeping my resources up. hate running out of stuff. Maybe I'll just time lapse it and speed ahead. <laughs> Wolfie's marking his territory. Is that my wolf? Jeez, he sounds like Godzilla. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's regroup with Sayla and see what she has to say. Solo? Winja Yoda. Winja Yoda? 
<laughs> I want to become a Wenji Yoda. <laughs> All right, let's take a quick breather and see if we can go upgrade the cave. Oh, can't yet, can't yet, that's terrible. Let's see our village. All right, yeah, I've got quite a few upgrades still to do. Okay, I guess we gotta complete this before we get a chance to, uh, well, let's see if we have any skills we can spend. All right, there's our objective. That's not too far away. Let's mark it on the map. Okay, so yeah. I think we gotta just follow up with this whole thing before we get to get back to our normal spending, crafting, and upgrading menu. <laughs> and they're just sending to Carl on his own. <laughs> He's like the special ops caveman. All right, I usually like to try to take the higher ground. Uh, not only for... You know what, let me check out and see if the owl can grab these uh, supply caches, these hanging supply caches. I guess not. Oh well, it was worth seeing. I mean, it would make sense that, you know, <laughs> the owl could just grab it out of the tree, but no. Oh, I'm full on flint. All right, forget you. Okay, so as I was saying, I usually like to take the higher ground, not only for the uh, combat advantage, but also uh, because it's a lot easier to go down than it is to go up. At least, you know, in video games. <laughs> in real life, it's the opposite. Man, what's with this leaving the mission zone? I'm just trying to get over there, jeez. Oh, you guys are killing me. You guys are killing me. Ubisoft, you should have made the, uh, the mission radius a little bit wider. All right, we're safe here. Let's see if we can get the owl to uh, scout ahead. I don't think he can go that far, but I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of test his limits. It's funny. It gives you the option to slow down the owl, but it doesn't give you the option to speed him up. <laughs> Yeah, it's too far, as I thought, yeah. I think the radius is somewhere between 100 and 200, so we'll just have to keep moving on up. What is up with that? Man, they just want you to go right through the front door, huh? Not giving me the opportunity to get strategic on them, huh? All right, maybe we can go up through that little valley. Oh, here comes my wolf. He was ahead. <laughs> he wasn't hindered by the mission zone. All right, well, let's grab these reeds and, uh, and just keep creeping up. Okay, I'm gonna give this a try. If it says I'm leaving the mission zone again, I'm just gonna say, uh, forget it. Aw, oh, man. Okay. Forget about it. Can I go up there? All right, well, I'm starting to see red dots on the menu. Maybe I can... Oh, you guys. I guess there's no choice but to go right up the center.
Okay, so there's a few down here in front of us. Maybe I can pick them off from up here. Let's get our owl to do a little recon. Oh, there we go. There's, there's the battle taking place. Let's take one out. Okay. Maybe I can reach one with an arrow. There we go. One more. Nice. Okay. Three body shots with an arrow, one with the head. Got it. I'm learning. Oh, this guy's going to try to be hiding. I don't think so. You better run. <laughs> He's like, screw this. Oh, they're coming up and around. All right, Wolfie, we're on. Let's get our spear out. Make sure we're ready for these guys. Oh, don't don't rest on your loyals yet, Wolfie. Maybe I can get a few of these guys on the way up. Nope. Oh, he's throwing spears, man. That's not nice. Let me heal up a little bit. Oh, sorry, Wolfie. And this is just straight up chaos. Is there another one? Oh, man. He's gonna get it now. Woo! Breather. Alright, let me heal you up, bud. <laughs> Poor little Wolfie had a black eye. Okay, so we'll just loot these guys on the way down. Shouldn't take too long. I did this a lot in the early stages of my Fallout 4 walkthroughs where, you know, I did a lot of looting early in the game and as I started uh, getting full on stuff, you know, it wasn't quite as necessary. It's just one of those video game memes. You know how it goes. Now, one of the things I really do like about Far Cry Primal versus uh, Fallout 4 is that when you down a body, you can turn on your hunter vision and still find him to loot him. And Fallout 4, if, if they disappear in the brush, pff, forget about it. Is there someone behind us? One more. You're not getting away. <laughs> oh, he got a couple shots in on me. There's Godzilla. Okay, we'll skin this deer for the heck of it and keep moving. What is going on now? Probably just an animal. Yeah, forget it. All right, let's keep going. I think we got to, uh, yeah, it says right there, reach the Udam camp. So, we got to take the fight to them.
Okay, it was probably a good idea to take out that dole because he was just going to come running up on us in a second anyway. I got a few more anyway. That's right. Scare him off there, Wolfie. There we go. You better run. <laughs> All right, don't mark him. Let me skin him first. <laughs> okay, so let's see if. 200 is about the range on this owl. I'm just kind of testing this stuff out. <laughs> Haven't quite figured out if that number is in feet or yards or what sort of measurement it is, but <laughs> we'll see if that Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's just about at the edge of 200. All right, maybe 150 or so. So that gives me a good idea of how close I need to get. Need any slate? Probably not. Oh, yeah. Never hurts. Okay, so we are here. Let's, uh... Okay, now I think we can probably, uh... Well, we have a, one of those Dacia hands somewhere around here, too. Okay, now we can break out the owl and start really scouting the area. Okay, so we have to destroy these totems of theirs. Stealth. Oh, you can throw rocks. I've never found that to be really useful. But hey, time and place for everything. All right, so let's take one out and start the process. Man, that owl is vicious. <laughs> so he's like an aerial bomber. Okay, so we are going to just creep right over the top of them. See if we can reach some of these so-called bone trees. I bet a fire arrow will take them out. Let's see if my theory is correct. All right, got to move out of the way there, Wolfie. Okay, so, yep, it does work. Just takes a second for him to burn. So that's one down. All right, let's get our owl back in action. Oh, there's one trying to run around. Let me see if I can snag him real quick. Oh, that was such a slick little U-turn. Ooh, they're coming up under us. I don't think they know we're here. Or if they do, they can't reach us. Oh, I see. I see. There's some uh, backup coming. That's who they're fighting. Okay. Well, we got to help out our brothers. Oh, there we go. There's a target. 
headshot? Oh, he moved. There we go. Man, having that lower cooldown makes such a difference. Oh, there's a guy hiding behind a rock. Not anymore. Is there just one left? Okay, let's light this on fire and see if we can take out this uh, bone tree over here. Sweet. We got him. Nice. Okay. Oh, there's more coming. Man, you gotta love higher ground. It takes some patience, but, you know, it's <laughs> such the superior combat advantage. He's my primitive jet fighter going for a bomb and run. One left. All right, let's take out this guy and take out this bone tree. There he is. Get him, Wolfie. All right, now we can take out this bone tree. Will that do it? Oh, I guess he couldn't jump down. Oh, and there's more coming. Word. They just keep coming. Did that fire arrow not do it? Let's give it another try. That do it? Didn't do it. What? What? Oh, this one's a tough one. I guess you gotta hit it multiple times. All right, for the win. <laughs> Caught me off guard. Headshot. Right to the doom. Oh, we're gonna stalk this guy. Take down. <laughs> Gotta love it. Oh, he's circling back on us. All right, time for Wolfie. There we go. Oh, maybe we'll just have to take them out ourselves. Man, Wolfie gets stuck on things too easily. All right, well, let's just spear this fool. All right, I'm gonna have to work on that Wolfie, maybe get a better animal. At least it can be a distraction. We did it! We did it! <laughs> Spear proof. <laughs> oh man, that was crazy. Talk about battle of the century. And right into another cutscene. Udanguanta Udamari Ul Atikwaifa 
All right, be happy now. I took out like half their tribe. Shadja, well, who wins the Marines? Shadja, well, who wins the Marines? Is it just me, or is she just a bit on the neurotic side? <laughs> obsession with the ears. Calm, Sela. <laughs> we shall prevail. The fight for Oros begins. Okay, okay, I see how it works now. Okay, so there's uh, some... Winja specialists that you have to go seek out, bring them back to the village. Where are they? Oh, I see where they are. Okay, so we are here. There's one. Karush. Hasari. And Woga. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Maybe we can do a little, uh, Little of our own thing now, finally. Okay, so now can we finally upgrade? We can. All right. This is what I was waiting for. <laughs> She's happy again. <laughs> Okay, nice. Now I can start upgrading some things. Let's, uh... Let's see. Let's see if we can do it again. Not quite, but very close. Very close. Alright, well, let's resupply. And then we'll, uh... We'll see if we can, uh... Upgrade some skills. Yeah, that was a pretty draining combat there. I probably should have crafted some things before I uh, stocked up, but that's all right. You know, still learning all the mechanics, but I'm getting it. By the next episode, I'm just going to be sick. Just you wait. <laughs> okay, we're good there. Now we can see about some crafting. A little short on a few of those. I can craft one of these sting bombs, though. That should be pretty useful. Yeah, I think so. Let's go ahead and craft one of these. Can't quite get that yet. Can't quite get that yet. All right, very close on a lot of these. But at least the upgrades are available now. We just have to have the resources. Let's see what we got in the skills category. Got a few options. All right, for the purpose of uh, making videos for you guys, I think that'll be a little bit more helpful. Be able to move a little faster. Uh, let's see here. I definitely want to get that, so we will probably have to unlock this one first. But, hmm. That's a tough call. I'm not uh, digging Sailor's skills, but um, maybe we should just go for another health bar. Nah, I want to be able to uh, sprint forever. Or sprint quietly. So, we'll do the health regeneration next. 
Okay, that's good. And I'm going to do a bunch of grinding in between episodes uh, without leaving you guys behind on any of the quests. So in the next episode, he's just going to turn into a caveman superhero. Let's see what we got going on in the village. I'm very curious what our population is now. This is where you find it. Yep, 43. Not too shabby. Okay, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Totally crazy battle scenes in this one. Uh, hopefully you guys were able to uh, find a few factoids that you can add to the after school club down below. Really appreciate you tuning in. Make sure you throw a like on the video and let me know that you're still digging this series. I'm really enjoying it. In fact, before I give it up, I'm going to do a whole bunch of grinding, get super powerful. And I think that'll make a big difference as far as uh, making the gameplay a bit more entertaining. So just you watch out for the next episode. It's going to be pretty crazy. Thanks again for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video around and we'll see you next time on The Schooled Zone. Stay smart.